So this is a very common thing that a lot of people will use like two days before the elections to decide who they're going to vote on, right? So it's called a stem visor. And basically what it does is it will give you like 30 questions that are relevant to the current political thing. And ultimately it will, it will, it will show and compare how many of the questions you have answered according with certain parties. So for example, the first one is the regering with the first blah, blah, blah. So this is basically saying like the government needs to make sure that uh, the amount of like cattle needs to be halved, right? So you can say, okay, I agree. I disagree. I don't care. You can find out what the parties think and how they, and, and basically it rolls out at the end what you have most in common with. And it's kind of a cool system, but I don't know if that's the thing that you, I guess if you have like a two party system or at least for the majority, a two party system, that's not really relevant. It would be livestock. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's easier to pick between two, I guess. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of nice. But sometimes, I don't know, at least in my experience, you fill out the whole thing, right? You try to answer it honestly, and then the party that rolls out, you're like, Ooh, I don't know about this one, bro. <laughs> Definitely not voting that. So it just, I don't know. It all gets a little bit confusing. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. In America and in Canada, you vote against the party you hate. Yeah, I guess that's a pretty common way of doing things. To be fair, it's not much different though in a lot of other places too. There's a lot of uh, people that just vote against, you know, whatever is currently going on. So whoever shouts the loudest gets the most votes for common issues. It's not a great way of doing things, but yeah. Yeah, an anti-vote. Absolutely. So for example, there's like one Dutch politician who's basically against everything. Just like whatever is currently going on and the way that things have been going and all that. They're basically against everything. <laughs> Just as contrarian as you possibly can be. And um... Yeah, that's basically how they gain votes, I guess. Just uh, the protest vote. Like, that's the whole... That seems to be the whole setup. Populism in a nutshell. Yeah. Really, Eisenhorn? I didn't even know that. That's funny. Yeah, so it's kind of complex. I, uh... I haven't seen any political candidate that I particularly like. So, uh, yeah, there's like 20 to choose from. At which point it's also kind of a lot, you know? <laughs> like, yeah, it's nice to have a lot of options, don't get me wrong, but... It just makes stuff a little confusing sometimes. Dude, we have zero students in our high school. Why? I don't understand. Okay, I'm gonna have to make a district over here. Maybe I can get it going. Uh, how do you do a district again? Combustion engine ban? Sure. Maybe we can do a gated community over here. Is that an option? We can do like our giga chads over here. Nah, maybe not. Energy consumption, heavy traffic ban? Yep. 
It is $25 to park on the side of the road. Get used to it. Uh, we do have an elementary school over here. I think this neighborhood may just be too new. So there's just not enough people that have moved from the elementary school onto the high school yet. But that's my theory. I don't know if it works. Oh yeah, no, I wasn't really worried about that, Thort. It's been a year already since uh, Mr. Musk took over Twitter. Huh. Time goes by pretty fast, doesn't it? Finally, my residential demands are so low. Um, high rent? Ah, I see another block of people complaining. There you go. Make me skyscrapers. Do it, do it. Not enough customers? Guess what that means. You complain, you become high residential. Right away. What are you guys complaining? High rent? High residential. And the neighbors too, because they were close. Reading Dutch is funny. Yeah. I still kind of like uh, Twitter compared to other social media. I mean, it's not amazing, but it's not terrible. It's just that the other social media are also kind of lame. Not really that much has changed, to be honest. At least it doesn't feel like it. space needs to come back. True, dude. I guess I'll be setting it up to uh, times three speed here. So I was making blocks here that are 120 by 120. I wonder if I can use the grid tool for it. I haven't really used the grid tool in ages. Ever since I noticed it wasn't making a grid that I wanted to make. <laughs> um. It needs to be multiples, I guess. So it does do 120. But then it already adds a lane in the middle. <sighs> the grid tool is annoying as hell in this game, man. The more you play this game... Like, there's a lot of good systems that they've added to the game, don't get me wrong. But a lot of it is also just very annoying. I, um, yeah, I don't know. It's a fun game to play. But ultimately, right now, all we can really do is scale up. And we don't have anything new to unlock anymore. Like, I've unlocked everything that there is to unlock, it seems. Like, they'll add a lot of stuff with DLCs, which will ultimately finish the game over the next five years. But as it is right now, it's just not quite finished.
Uh, I did play some Factorio earlier today, Melgarion. Yeah, we'll continue onwards with that again later this week. The results are in, Meerkats. You filled out the Dutch stem visor. Very nice. They told you to vote for Splinter? Social, democratic, liberal, progressive? I don't even know who these people are, bro. Sounds like Europe. <laughs> the Grand Bridge, a magnificent bridge that will be the landmark of the city. I would like that very much. I don't know how I use it. I'm assuming it's gonna be under the bridge section? Oh, what? This is much smaller though than the existing bridge. This makes it a four-lane highway, doesn't it? Hold up. Invalid shape. Distance too short. Oh, it's a different looking bridge entirely. Look at that. That's kind of pretty. Yeah, problem is it's not a highway. Yeah, it's like a tower bridge. Exactly. You can kind of add this, I guess, as a decorational bridge at the end or something if you need like... But it's not really that great for traffic. No, I just had to look it up too, Ramble. Meerkat's, uh, yeah, interesting results. There you go. A very important party, apparently. Thank you, Pig General. Server farm. Post-sorting facility. The post-sorting facility processes and stores mail for dispatch. Mail is collected from post offices and mailboxes and delivered to post offices and outside connections. Sure, bro. Whatever you say, video game. No, I will make one. I will put it... Oh, God, it's a big structure. I will put it over here. Close to our new industrial place. This thing can still be expanded as well. Automatic sorting. Let's go. Extra loading ramps? So what does this do? We interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. More mill storage. Increasing areas of forest are being engulfed by flames. The wow. Thick smoke rising from the fire wow. makes engulfed the by flames. Breathe. Citizens are advised to vacate any premises near the fires wow. and remain at a safe distance until emergency services manage to get Benic. the fires under control. It's all good, guys. Don't worry about it. Thank you, Thor, gifting us up to Utgard. Um, this is a uh, 5G tower over here. To uh, give the people what they want. It's a radio mast. 1.5 thousand gigabit a second. Okay, let's upgrade it. Sure. Wireless antenna network. There you go, bro. Upgrade it. I don't care. Get all the upgrades. So this actually works quite uh, quite nicely over here. 
Uh, I wanted to add mill boxes. And then I accidentally added a 5G tower. <laughs> Hate it when that happens. Uh, put a mailbox over here as well. Okay. Okay. We just have a need for more mailboxes, apparently. Mailboxes make happiness. I can put a mailbox over here. <laughs> Who's going here to drop off mail? Anyways, it made the citizens very happy. It's not a great place for a mailbox, but hey, uh, people are happy now, so uh, hey, uh, good luck. You want to send a letter to grandma wishing her a happy birthday? Well, it might cost you your life. Sorry. Should have texted. Just like everybody else. Um. Just waiting for traffic accidents? Yeah, I give the people what they want, man. Absolutely. I... Oh, I guess I don't need a park over there. I mean, we have the statue. That's all the park people need. They can run around in circles and stuff. Wait, really, Mr. Steel Your Beef? They added official words of worlds for it? Like, well, apparently the unoccupied buildings means that the demand will not increase for high density if you zoned empty areas? So how do I increase the demand for high density? Because I have not had a demand for it for hours and hours and hours of gameplay. And I followed the advice of the game. So maybe I should lower some taxes for it, see how that goes? Fine, we'll lower the taxes over here to 14%. Fuck it, I don't care. Just... It never increases. They're still complaining that taxes are too high, but taxes are too high for the others as well. So I don't quite understand the problem why it does request low density and medium density, but never high density. Oh my god. They did add squirking worlds. Squirking and squirking too. <laughs> That's funny. I think it's bugged. I think so too. Try dezoning the zones that are designated for high density. I can give that a try, I guess. So we just get rid of all the skyscrapers now? The couple that I've built? Or just the empty lots? I guess just the empty lots. Like I have loads of empty lots. Sorry. Sorry, gamers. I'll leave the few that have started, I guess. It takes time, but eventually it'll come around. I mean, the thing is... It's been literally... I want to say five plus hours since I've had any high-density residential demand. Maybe even more, man. I don't even remember that bar ever filling up a tiny little bit. Now, they did build a couple of the big structures when I started randomly zoning it in. So there are some that did zone in, most notably over here, but they're now all abandoned. Ah. 
<sighs> Lent value? Pretty high. Like, it's as high as it can be right over here. An emergency broadcast to all citizens. Yeah, I know. It's one tree that's going to be on fire. Wow. Okay, thank you for the emergency broadcast. The thick smoke rising from the fire makes the air dangerous to breathe. Citizens are advised to vacate any... So I have areas over here that are and popular. ...and a safe distance until emergency services manage to get the fires under control. Um, my residential people seem to be pretty happy. Most of the people complaining in the city are commercial. And they're complaining about high rent and not enough customers, but that's because I can't zone in more. I don't know. It's it's all very strange to me. Like, ultimately, though, if this is the fix, it's definitely a bug. But if this is not the fix, it's still a bug. Commercial and industrial will always complain. Seems that way. Like, I can't affect the rates of the rent myself. So these people over here are wretched. So their financial state is not good. They're happy though, and the level of the building is very high, which is all a bit funky. You would imagine that these people would want to live in a smaller home to not be financially fucked, but that's not the case. They don't want to... Remember, even though you have a demand for something doesn't mean you need it? Yeah, that's definitely true. Anyways, we'll cruise through it. Waiting for a hearse. Okay. Lots of dead people over here. <laughs> they live right next to the cemetery, though. I also have my, um, I don't exactly know where, but I do have my, uh... I don't know. I just lowered, I just lowered the taxes a ton. For residential. They're still complaining that taxes are too high. Okay, let's see. I'll just keep lowering the taxes. There you go. It's now basically free to live in Locopia. Okay, well, maybe that's a bit much. Unoccupied buildings. Okay, so we want to get rid of the unoccupied buildings. That's the little brown marker above any of these structures. There's one. How much does it live or cost to live in Twitch chat? Five dollars a month. Five dollars a month. Twenty percent tax to live in a city is nuts. That is pretty nuts. Okay, so I've done everything. I mean, there may still be one unoccupied building somewhere, but loads of students, loads of happiness, loads of available jobs. Zero demand for the housing. Advanced pollution management. Industrial filters reduce the air pollution? I've never actually noticed this little tab before. Advertising increasing the city's attractiveness, which brings tourists? Alright. 
Removes highway speed limits, traffic flows faster, but noise pollution increases and traffic accidents are slightly more likely. Sure. We have the Autobahn now. Schnell, schnell. Yet gates los. Off the highway. Um, sure. Pre-release programs. Prisoners are enrolled in educational programs. This helps them integrate back into society? Absolutely. <laughs> I just do all the things. So I have no negative numbers right now in the bottom right hand corner. We have a reliable mill service, dude. People are wealthy. We have great internet, spacious homes, good education. Abundance of leisure time, service upgrades, abundance of entertainment, reliable healthcare coverage. We have it all. Yeah, that's it. All right, I'll continue zoning in low residential and medium over here. People fucking love Locopia, except for people that want to live in skyscrapers. They do not love me very much. They're like, nah. Nah. Don't want to do that. Mm -mm. Do not want to do that. It's a bit strange to build a bridge over here, I guess. A land bridge. Okay. Sorry, guys. Uh, this is, by the way, the natural. This is the natural expansion. Of course. Mm, actually, I don't think I want to zone in that close to the to the highway. I want to leave a little bit of space. I should make a proxy instead, yeah. It seems like your actions don't have a lot of consequences in this game, though. Like, I just changed the policy for... What was it? Prisoners to be able to be released early? I, I highly doubt it's gonna do anything. I can offset it entirely by adding one more police station. In just a random place. Unzoning all of this. So you can remove a lot of the industrial. And it does not increase the demand for industrial afterwards. Which is a bit interesting. So like I can unzone a lot of this stuff. These houses will all disappear. And my industrial demand will barely change. Which I find a bit strange. Lack of high skill labor? I don't know how that works. So I do have high skilled labor in my city. We have plenty of people that are educated. I'm assuming they will take the, 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 I don't know, any sort of mode of transportation to go over there. But maybe there needs to be a school specifically for them over here.
Uh, I'm gonna be live for about another 50 minutes today, Sky. I'll make a, uh, a caller to over here. Hey, there we go. We are now officially a large channel. Look at all the things we've unlocked, guys. Okay, look, now I'm just complaining for the sake of complaining. But let me just show you guys real quick. I complained about this already, but I'm gonna just repeat my complaining, okay? So when you ultimately start at the game, right, and you unlock Tiny Village, look what you unlock. You unlock all of this. Loads of new ways of increasing your city. Small village, same thing. Lots of new stuff. Education and research, specialized industry. With Grand Village, you get access to offices and low-rent housing and transportation and all that, right? So for each, you just kind of improve your stuff and you slowly add more things. Until right here. That's it. Now there's nothing. All of the second half of the game gives you nothing. It just gives you some money and some points, but there's no, there's nothing. We have all the parts we can get, yeah. It now becomes a full-on sandbox. You do get more expansion points, so ultimately you can unlock all of these. Yeah. So we can add an airport and a space station and stuff. That's cool. But why have milestones and development then at the same time? If milestones are irrelevant, it's, you know, after just a little, little bit. Maybe I can do a medical university or we'll do a technical university. So I just did a college over here. Maybe we can do a, uh, a university in this area. Oh God, this thing is huge. Holy crap. Whoa, okay. Not what she said. That is... No, no, chat, come on, don't lie to me. We all know that that is not what she said. Like, you can pretend that that is what she said, and that's fine. Academic learning for the technically oriented. Ooh. Guys in the chat, do you feel technically oriented? Provides the fourth level of education, increases efficiency of offices and industrial companies. This is for the nerds. Nerds! Yeah, this is where the nerds go to school. To like, contribute to society and, you know, make their lives a better place. And, you know, make something with the limited amount of time on Earth that they have. And to, you know, make their parents proud and stuff. Nerds! Okay, oil refinery has been unlocked. Yo, this is the technical school. Look at this thing. Whoa. Academic learning for the technically oriented. We have zero people going to this school right now. But I believe, I believe that one day we may get three people to go here. I'm actually gonna move this thing over here. I'm actually gonna remove you, or I'm gonna move you into a block room. Yeah, these guys, they can pay their bills and stuff on time as well because they decided to go to school and get a proper job. Nerds! Kind of cringe, to be honest. Not gonna lie. <laughs> these are probably the same people that like to spend their weekends playing video games. Ay, 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 ay. Have you ever heard something more pathetic? <sighs> okay. Well, anyways. Just three engineers in the chat? No, no, no. There's a lot of engineers in the chat. Is this the school that you went to, Echo? Yeah, one advantage of having a city full of nerds is that I can get rid of all the sports fields, the parks. Any social gathering, 
really. So that's kind of convenient. I don't know why the technical university comes with this. Little benches and places for people to go and hang out. What's this? A sports field? With really phallus shaped objects? I don't know, man. Yeah, maybe I can get like these internet cafes that are really popular in Korea. Yeah. That's a fake technical university confirmed. Now I can add a uh, extension wing. Improved practical learning that increases the students' chances of graduating. Okay. Do you think we have a demand already for high resident? Oh, no, of course we don't. That's for the parents to convince you to send you there? Oh! Little Jimmy might finally pick up a sport. But we all know that that's not gonna happen. Look at that. A gym? What is this for prison looking gym over here? I don't know, man. The game developers also don't go to the gym. <laughs> they probably went to the technical university. <laughs> They're like, this is what gyms look like, right? I've seen it in a movie once in the Shawshank Redemption. It's like, mm, I don't think... Anyways. Outside gym, man. Lovely place. It's for the early release criminals. Right, smart. Yeah, they have some of, of them as well in the Netherlands, actually. Some places that have, like, uh, outside gyms. But I think those are, like, the city that placed them there. Probably some government program or something where they had to have a certain amount. Do -do. The EU paid for it? Whoa, I have 50 squares I can buy? I can buy everything. Yeah, yeah, some of those outside gym things are actually really nice. Absolutely. Especially in the summer. In the winter? Mm, kinda sketchy. Very large amount of people want to go to this new neighborhood now. That's good! I'm gonna have to connect this in with another part of my city at some point, I guess. People are abandoning this place over here, man. Zero demand for high residential, guys. I don't fucking know. I, I just, I, I don't know. Very frustrating. Oil that once just used to rel or uselessly lie on the ground is fashioned into many different substances in this refinery. I love oil. What a beautiful place. Yeah, oil is gonna save the world. Save the world. Make it a better place. For oil and for... For people. And the entire... No, uh, some people. There are people dying. Yeah, that, that part I guess is true. We can work with it. It was a bit high for me, but it's okay. Pew pew, pew pew.
So how come there's only a traffic jam going one way into the new neighborhood, but not the way back? Do these people not leave? This is like Hotel California over here? Like, what's going on? Um, I heard that apparently connecting your your city to the outside world is not a bad idea. Do I have to connect it to a specific highway? Yeah, I think so. So there's a highway over there. Do I have to own those squares in order for that to be relevant? I can buy them. I don't really like this though. It's a lot of wasted space. You can make new connections. So I can just connect these highways to the edge of the map. Um, these are all three lanes, right? Yeah. No, they're not. The heck? Are those the ones? It can't be any closer than that. Okay. Um, I guess I should probably then buy the leftover squares that go to the edge of the map and just create a curvy road to that. Is that now an outside connection? Oh yeah, 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 cars are coming in. Chorley? That's like Charlie, but different. Chorley bit me. Hey, Arctics, thank you very much for the 61 months. Chorley bit me, and that really hurt. <laughs> Charlie. God, that's an old video. Charlie bit me. It's still hurting. <laughs> I love that video. That's an internet classic. Can I do a roundabout here? Like a flying roundabout? Like a big boy roundabout? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we're gonna have to upgrade this road here for sure. People don't want to leave this section of Locopia. Confusing with all these cars on the road, huh? Oh, jeez. <laughs> I like how they correct themselves. They're like, "Oh, sorry. Oh, going, going to the left." All right, that should help. Hopefully. High density residential could. It's coming! I'm zoning it in! It's coming! I'm doing it right now! Build skyscrapers! Build them fast! Build them tall! Sorry. Sorry. Okay, it's already gone again. 
It was it's all it's already gone again. <laughs> hi YouTube, hi YouTube. <laughs> First City Skylines player to ever have a higher than reasonable density demand. That's amazing. But it's already gone again. It's, it's already gone. We did it, gamers. To get her to the top. My mom told me I would not achieve anything in life. Look at me now. Had a little bit of... Oh my god, look at it. It's so huge. Whoa. Have you ever seen a building that big before? Follow-up question, why is the answer no? Because you never go outside. Okay, yeah, okay. Well, fair, fair, fair. I'm gonna put a parking lot over here. $36. Yeah, park it. Park it, you coward, you won't. Do it. Do it. Did he just go through? It's caravan dezoned as well. What about this guy? Oh, he just made a little loop. He just wanted to pay the 35 bucks. Is that an electric motorcycle? I don't believe it. I don't believe it. These people are parking electric cars or... <sighs> okay, 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 good. More parking lots, dude. I love parking lots. What's your favorite thing? If you had to name one thing about a parking lot, what's your favorite thing about them? And now I know that that's a difficult and trick question, because, like, you know, there's so many. The crime? Really? That's your favorite thing about them? Weird. Getting towed away? Oh. Hmm. You like the arms that go up and down? Very nice. How do they tow some of those electric cars that automatically lock? How does that work? Like, what if you have a car where the wheels are, where are just... ...locked? If you try towing them... They will not roll. They put a little dolly under the wheels. Oh yeah, I've seen that before. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now you mention it. The loco skyline is going hot. Very nice. Bam, 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 bam. No, I don't yet have any level two skyscrapers, I don't think. I was wondering the same thing. These are all level oneers. I should have maybe thought about where I was going. Oh no, this is a level two. There's a couple level twos. So this is a level two, this is a level one. They look the same. My education? Education's looking pretty good. Yeah, we need more elementary schools. For some reason, I have tons more demand for college and university than for high schools, which I find a bit funny. I don't know why, but yeah, people just, uh... They skip high school, man. They go straight to university. Lacopia does not mess around. Yeah, I guess those skyscrapers do need a lot of experience to level up. Absolutely.
Bam, 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 bam. Locopia needs a space force? <laughs> Do we, though? I don't know about that one. Like, you looked at my city and the first thing you thought of is I need a space force? Hmm. I'm not convinced that the uh, space force is particularly useful, but... How long do you stand around in a nightmare zone to become a level 99 skyscraper? Yes? <gasps> chat! Chat! There's a little bit of... Just a tiny... Oh my god! Don't scare it away! Whisper! Come on! Come on, high density! Come on, buddy! Don't be scared! Come on! Can somebody get some, like, I don't know, a little bit of, like, uh, I don't know, maybe some grain or some, some candy, some snacks, whatever, man. Come on, High Density, you can do it, buddy. Come on. There you go. Who's a good High Density residential demand? Yeah. Very nice. I'm gonna zone in some commercial right over here, right next to the elementary school, so the kids can go and, I don't know, buy their alcohol or whatever. I don't know what kids buy. Mm, 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 mm. 